Christ Jesus. For by grace, we have been saved through faith. And that not of ourselves, it is what the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Now, verse 10, if you're a Christian here, let's read it together. For we are what is workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus for what? For good works, which is God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. When he saved you by grace, there's a calling upon your life. There's something he has saved you to do. And if you don't do those things, then you are taking his grace for granted. He said we've been saved. To do good works. Maybe to buttress us, let's look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6 to 9. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 from verse 6 to 9. Cheerful giver. And God is able. Can we read that together, number 8? And God is able to make what all grace abound towards you, that you always. Having all sufficiency in all things may have what an abundance. For what again? For every good work. When he said all grace there, that means there are different dimensions of grace. The more I release, go into my grace account and be withdrawing from it. God expands the grace in me. What happened again? And he was angry. The people that don't draw from their grace account, from this amazing grace, are the people that are always angry. Oh yes, they are always angry. When God is blessing you, you say, why is God blessing us? Well, it doesn't matter how my past was. It doesn't matter how messy it was. So far I come to the God of amazing grace. He's ready to open the account and let me withdraw anything of, on, from this account. He said, this is your son. It doesn't matter, but the son came back to get his account activated. And now it was even a bigger overdraft and investment. And it continued. And he said unto him, listen to what the father said, thou art ever been with me. And all that I have is what? Dying. Ignorance. Ignorance did not make this boy take from his grace account. I want you to pray. Now, whatever way I've been ignorant of the grace of God upon my life, Father, Lord, deliver me. Father, open the eyes of my understanding to see the manifold blessings you have prepared for me. Lord, you prepared it from the foundation of the earth. You have made grace available for me. You said everything that is in heaven and on earth, you raised me up to be with Christ. I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, Father, the grace to tap into, to withdraw from my grace bank, I receive from you today in the name of Jesus. Everything. You don't even need to say, Father, Lord, Bless me. You have to tell yourself, the blessings are already there from the foundation of the earth. Yours is to withdraw. When God sees your faith, he will release it. When God sees your faith, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 also. When God sees your faith, he will release it. Is it God chapter 1 verse 3? The same. Blessed be the God and father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who had was, read with me brethren, who had blessed, past tense, blessed us what with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. The spiritual controls the physical. If I tap into the spiritual, then it will manifest in the physical. So are you tapping into the grace of God? No. When you, but unto, can we read it together? But unto everyone, everybody, 
every one of us is given what grace according to what the measure of the gift of Christ. You have been given graces. And if you don't use it, all grace will not abound for you. God will not allow the other graces that come with it to abound in you. If you are adding the grace God has given to you, God will not allow the others to abound in you. It's not that you are not saved. You are saved. You will make it to heaven. But graces will not abound in you. You will live a life that does not flavor. That does not bring glory to God. So to relationship with Christ makes you qualify to be in that bank. A relationship with Christ makes you qualify to be a member of that bank of grace. Because in Romans chapter 5, verse to be right standing with God, we are justified, but it is true faith. Now continue. By whom also we have access by faith into what? Into this grace. You cannot assess this grace if you first don't have a relationship with Christ. By whom we have access into this grace wherein we stand. The grace, it increases our grace and graces are contagious. Remember I've said we have to use the graces we have, whether in serving or in prophecy or whatever in it. But graces also are contagious. Do you know that Elisha tapped from the grace of Elisha? When you honor the anointing in someone, when you anoint, uh, 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 honor the, anoint, uh, the grace in someone, then you can covet that grace and God will give it to you. But if you dishonor the anointing or the graces on people, God will not release it to you. Are you grow in grace? Grace can be improved on by wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. You learn. If there is a ministry you are coveting, let's say prayer or prophetic or anything, read about it, pray about it, learn about it. There's no shortcut to it. You've been given the common grace, the basic grace. But the more you know things about it, the more you will improve on it. Grow in grace and in what the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, knowledge comes also. You grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. To him be glory forever and ever. Now, let's see what grace teaches us. Because some people say, you know, uh, because of this uh, gospel of grace... Because the gospel we are preaching now is the gospel of grace. It's all about grace. I don't understand. Uh, does it give license to, to someone to be sinning and doing others? No. If you really love God, then you will run away from those things. Because you know he lavish his love on you. Let's look at Titus chapter 2 from verses 11 there to 12. Titus chapter 2 from verses 11 to 12. Titus chapter 2 from verses 11 to 12. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation. Remember, we are saved by grace through faith. And appeared to all men. What does it teach us? Can you read it to me? With me, I beg you. Teaching us to do what? Denying ungodliness. And worldly lust. The grace of God in you should make you run away from things that does not glorify God. It doesn't allow you to do it. It teaches. That means as you listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, if you're not going to that girl's house or that boy's house, we cause problem. The Holy Spirit teaches you that don't go. If you know when you see that money, you will steal it. The Holy Spirit teaches you don't touch it. It teaches. It, it teaches us that we deny ungodliness and worldly laws. 
then we should what live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world and what and the one to come. That is what grace teaches us. Grace does not say you should roam in sin. Grace does not say you should take the grace of God for granted. Grace says you should run away from ungodliness. It is my prayer, someone. Wherever our name appears, we will command favor. Ah, graces bring about uncommon favor in the name of Jesus. Where people have failed in this journey of life, you will succeed. Graces make you to be outstanding in the name of Jesus. I pray you will draw into the bank of grace and take, take those benefits God has given to you. It can be financial benefit. It can be spiritual benefit. It can be emotional benefit in the name of Jesus. You will not fail in the journey of life. You will not roam in the journey of life. God himself will orchestrate everything you do in the name of Jesus. The grace of God will make you run away. Grace, mercy, and repentance. Grace and repentance are like a scissors. Now, the scissors is held by the pivot. The two must work together for it to do the work. As you repent, then the grace will come to help you to succeed in the journey of life. But if you remain in sin, then the grace cannot abound in you. It's like scissors. You must do one first, then the other will take place. So that the two will work together. The two will work together. If you don't repent, then grace cannot work. Are you getting it? It's like scissors. It must go together. The, the, the